Hey, uh, we're going to go over 1431 kids with greatest number of candies. So the question says, given the array of candies and the integer extra candies, where candies at index i represent the number of candies that the ith kid has, okay? For each kid, check if there is a way to distribute extra candies. So we're going to distribute extra candies among the kids such that he or she can have the greatest number of candies among them. So greatest meaning max. Uh, notice that multiple kids can have the greatest number of candies. Okay, so we can have multiple max values. Uh, if you look at example one, we get an array um, candies and it's uh, only numbers. And each number represents um, a, a kid with number of candies. And what we're trying to do is uh, distribute extra candies and see if that kid has max uh, number of candies or not. Okay. So if we look at our first example, um, there's an array with 2, 3, 5, 1, and 3 candies. And we have 3 extra candies. So what we want to do now is figure out if this kid can have the maximum number of candies or not okay and this will be our result all right so if we give three candies to this kid um, the first kid will have five candies if we give it to this kid who we'll have six and eight if we give it to this kid um, it will be four and if we give it to the last one it will be six and if you look at our first array that was given, the maximum number of candies that uh, the kid has is 5, right? Uh, 5 is the highest number in the array. So max is 5. And if we distribute like all of the candies to um, each individual uh, kid, we get this array. And we, what we have to do now is check max number to each number in the array. So is 5 greater than 5? No, but if you look back at the question again, we can have multiple greatest number of candies. So this is true. Uh, 6 is greater than 5, so this is true. 8 is greater than 5, so this is true. Oops, um, true. And 4 is greater than 5? Nope, that's false. 6 is greater than 5? Yes, that's true. So we get t true 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 false true and true 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 false true so that's what we get okay now let's code our solution so first thing we do is declare our function kids with candies which takes two parameters uh, candies and extra candies and we know that candies is an array with numbers and extra extra candy is an integer so first thing we want to do is we want to find the um, maximum number in the candies array so I'm just going to make a variable named max and this is going to be, I'm going to use the math.max function and we're going to use the uh, spread and I'm going to spread the uh, candies array. So what this does is uh, it goes through all the items in the um, candies array and it's going to find the max. And if we just do return max here, we know that max is 5 for the first one, 4 and 12 for the last one. And now I'm just going to make a variable named result and set it into equal to an empty array. And that's where we're going to store our result. And let's return result. Okay, looks good. Now that we have our result array, we want to loop through all the elements in the candies array. So let's make a for loop. And we're going to start at index i is equal to 0. And loop through all the items in the array candies.length increment by one. I'm just gonna make another variable named current value and this is gonna be equal to candies at index i. Okay. And now we want to push in true and false values, right? So what we're gonna do is result dot push and we want to add our current number or current value C V by extra candies candies and see if this is greater than or equal to max and the reason why we do greater than or equal to is because the question said we can have multiple max values uh, if you just did this it would be it would be wrong so greater than or equal to max and we get our result um, 
So for the first one is true, true, false, true, um, true, true, false, true. Second one is true, false, 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 false. Okay, true, false, 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 false. And last one is true, false, true, true, false, true. Okay. All right, guys. Um, let's go over our code one more time. So first thing we do is declare a function named kids with candies, which takes in two parameters: candies. This is an array with numbers. And this is um, integer, extra candies. Okay. And next, what we want to do is find the maximum number in candies array. And I just used the math.max function. And what I did is I used the spread operator, spread operator, to get individual items from candies array. And next, um, declare the variable name result and set it in equal to an empty array and we'll return that later. So now we want to go through our candies array and starting at index zero, we're gonna go through the whole um, candies array. And what I did was I just declared a variable current value and set it equal to candy at index i. Now um, we want to evaluate whether or not the current value plus extra candies is greater than or equal to max, right? So that will result in a true or false value. So we add whatever we get from this operation. So if we try the first one, we have two here, two here. Actually, uh, let's use the second one because um, we did that already. So we have an array four, two, one, one, two, and extra candies is one. And this is our result array. When i is equal to zero, current value is four. So if we add one to four, we get five. And, and that's the current max. Max is equal to four. So is five greater than four? Yes, that's true. So we get a uh, true. And let's add one to the next one. We get three for the next one. And that's not bigger than four. We get a false. And next one, we get two two and three are these bigger than our maximum value four no so we get false 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 and after we get our result we return result finally and we're done